Hey YouTube friends, Tiffany here and today I'm going to share with you a video tutorial about how to add photos to albums in groups on Facebook. Less complicated than it sounds really. Um, a lot of us participate in Facebook groups and many of them require you to post photos to albums but it can be a little confusing so I'm going to show you um, with my iPad today, but it's very similar no matter what kind of mobile device you use. And the second portion of it is actually the same with computers as well. So if you're a computer user, just hang in there and I will tell you when we get to the point where it applies to you. So the very first rule is that we do not want to use the Facebook app. It will not work. So what you want to use instead is your um, web browser. Mine is Safari, but you might use Chrome or any number of other things. However you normally get to the internet, that is what you want to click. And I'm going to protect the privacy of my Facebook friends. Um, but this is the mobile, the mobile site. Get my phone a second to focus. Um, so you can see it's just one column. Here, let me do this. It's one column. And Right over here, you have this little drop down box icon. It's the three horizontal lines. So you want to click on that, and that is going to open up a drop down box. And what you want to do then is scroll all the way down to the bottom. So I'm going to just move this so we see the bottom of my iPad. All the way down to the bottom, at the very bottom you see it says desktop site right here, and that's going to change it from your mobile version to your computer version. From here on out, it's going to be the same whether you're on your iPad or iPhone or your computer. It's the same exact steps. I zoom out, you can see that this is probably very similar to what you see on your computer. You've got ads over on one side, your news feed, and then this um, kind of menu, I guess. Uh, so you're going to go to your groups and you're going to choose the group that you want to upload photos to and give my very slow internet a second to get me to the group. Um, this is the scrapbook craft organization group that I'm an admin on, and the one that's most likely to forgive me for this being my fifth or sixth take, <laughs> I have uploaded this album a bunch of times. So if any of you are watching, thank you for your patience. Um, so now we're at the group site, and I'm gonna go in for a close up here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, Right here where it says add photo and video, that is gonna put it straight on the wall and it will not be in an album. So what you wanna click instead is this right here where it says photos. You've got your members, your events, your photos, your files. This tab is what you wanna click on. And what that is gonna do, as soon as it loads, come on little iPad, you can do it. It's going to load all of the albums and at the bottom is individual photos that are part of your group. Now if you want to add photos to an existing album, something that already has been created, that's a slightly different set of steps, but I'm going to show those to you in just a second. What we want to do is create a new album and it doesn't actually say create an album, it says upload photos. That's what you want to click. And that will give you the option to create a group album. Right here, you can change the name to something that makes it more specific so you can find it and people can find you. And then you're gonna create the album. Your next options are gonna show you um, where you can choose your file. If you're on a computer, clicking one of those buttons will take you to like your folders where you have all your different pictures and you can find whatever you wanna use. On a mobile device, you get the take a photo or choose an existing photo. And it's a little silly, but we're going to use my before and after of my recent haircut because that's what I have available. Once you've chosen all the photos you want, you click on upload photos. Now, um, it'll take it a second to do that, but if you want to um, add additional photos, like if you have more than five, right here on the right hand side, it says add photos. And um, if you click that, it takes you right back to the same screen where you choose your files. So that's how you would add, you know, six or seven or ten or however many uh, photos you want. If you would like to put a description on each photo, you can click the photo and add a description. 
or add a comment. The other option you have here is to click on edit and that allows you to edit the entire album at once. I'm going to set this down so it's not so shaky. Okay. So, you can do a description of your album here and the other thing you can do is make a comment and I believe that either one of those actually will make it show up on the news feed of your group. So rather than it just being in the album's file, it will show right up where everybody will see it. So you can just type something in there and then it shows up. When you're finished with all of those, all of those tasks, if you click done, it creates your album and you can go back to your group. I'm going to click back on the photo tab again real quick just so we can see that right here is the album we just created. So this is a great point for me to tell you about adding to an existing album. So whether that's the album you just created that you forgot you had a few more things or you know you want to put some more things in an album you created a week ago, you find the album in this section and you might need to you know use the arrow to find it but then you can click on the album and once it opens, this is the exact same page you were looking at before. So um, very simply, you just go back over here to where it says add photos and you get this familiar screen once again and you pick your photos and you upload them and you're done. Um, it's really not too complicated. I know that it can seem like a lot of steps, but it really helps the groups to continue to function the way that they should. And I've actually seen Facebook groups that kind of bogged down and they ended up having to be closed because of too many loose photos. So speaking as someone who loves to use Facebook groups and who admins one or two, please follow the directions. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the admin of your group. You can also add questions here below this video and I will do my very best to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.